never come back. Don't worry, it all ends tonight. And ultimately, these movies, if you put them all together, are about friendship. And it's about, Alan says it in the first movie, um, how he's a lone wolf and he's just looking for a you know wolf pack, so to speak. It's bizarre how popular. I mean, you can't gra you can't grasp it. I was just glad I had a part in the third one because I really didn't know because Chow had Chow went to prison and the, at the end of the second one, so I just wanted to come back and then and then come back in such a fashion like this was really an embarrassment of riches. It's the biggest role I've ever had as an actor and to do it with the most iconic character I've ever played to have this expanded role was, was beyond a dream come true. I don't know if it can get any better than this. Someone needs to burn this place to the ground. Ooh, I like that. I think it was more liberating for me and for the actors to make a movie that wasn't just a comedy, that really had a little bit of um, elements of a heist movie, an action movie, a little bit of darkness. Uh, as, yeah. I think it's funny, and I think people can relate to being wasted and doing stupid things. Lisa, can you remember me? I'm the one that picked the object. Lisa, can you remember me? He's a villain with a sense of humor. Like, just like in the first movie, he's about to threaten the Wolfpack's lives in the desert before they, uh, it's revealed that it's Black Doug as Chow's prisoner. And during that tense moment, when Zack falls out of a car, he's going, ha ha, fat guy fell down, so funny. You know, you got, just to me, that pretty much sums Chow up right there. Fatty, it feels good to be out, I'm close by, tell no one, I'll be in touch. Chow. My favorite part of the whole film is when Mr. Chow is coming off Caesar's Palace with the parachute, <laughs> singing an Orca song. It was just amazing. <laughs> One Earth does it like filming that scene. It was a fun scene to, to film. I don't know if, if you spoke to Ken yet, but for, for Ken it wasn't a fun scene because he's deathly afraid of heights. <laughs> it's fun to shoot a sequence like that in Las Vegas and shut down the strip and just really take over, and it was, it was a really fun sequence. I don't think I've giggled that much on a set in a long, long time because I had so much fun filming this movie. And you're right, Chow's doing so much outrageous stuff. There's almost there's too many to count. Yeah. <laughs> I think what really stands out is like off camera, we're all good friends, and and it, it's actually on, on a film like The Hangover series that this is the most mature, ego-free diva-free cast I've ever worked with. This is the best cast ever. It's my favorite people, my favorite director. Yeah. Todd is a crier. <laughs> so he like, he cried um, a lot. Uh, I think it was because he probably heard some bad news or something over the phone, because it, I don't think he was nostalgic for the movie. But uh, I cried a lot just because it was like, you know, realizing that your career's over kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> it would have made sense for us to film The Hangover, maybe part two in, in, in Dublin. We were, we were thinking of other cities, you know, obviously, and, and, and we were, we were, we, it came down between Rio and Bangkok, honestly. But Dublin should have been in the mix because we're better to have a hangover than Dublin. My family is uh, Irish. Like three-fourths no, of my family are Irish, so I love Ireland. It's amazing. But I'm sure they would have gotten very wasted there, right? We've been on a lot of adventures together, but it seems like you haven't learned anything. Anything. I'll be in the limo. Woo! 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 <laughs> my name's Alan and I bought a giraffe! Oh, my life is great! <laughs>